Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Tisha and we are doing a current burn review on Bath & Body Works 3 Wick Candle Haunted Nights. Quick update. I just did my unboxing for premium and I have a plumbing lip gloss on and I feel like my lips look like boom. Like they just feel plumper. That really works and it wasn't painful. I can still feel a nice cooling effect like definitely felt like um cinnamon. You know how like cinnamon will give you like that cooling effect when you're chewing it. Cinnamon gum. So if you're in for the market for something like that, it was the um, Tarte Man Eater Lip Gloss. I had to share because these are usually painful. This is in the shade Buff. And like I said, it doesn't hurt at all. I don't know if it looks bad. I had it over a lipstick, but really looking at myself in this uh, little video here, I'm like, dang, my lips look huge. So let's get into the candle. So today I burnt Haunted Nights which is the three wick candle from Bath and Body Works. And the notes are scary, clary, sage, moonlit mahogany, vanishing verbena with natural essential oils. Let's talk about the packaging. I usually share that first just because usually it's the packaging that draws us to a candle or the name of the candle. But for me, this whole Halloween collection has been very consistent and very cute. This has little, I wanna say maybe dressed up skeletons or little additions, um, decorations to the skeletons. I'm not really sure. With a nice purple color. I really like the way that they consistently made each candle unique, but like cohesive at the same time. And it has the spiderweb lid, which I've shared enough about. I really enjoy. And this has white wax with very thin, thin wicks. So I don't know what they're doing lately, cutting their wicks in half or something, but they all seem very thin. As you can see in this candle, although it was very, very strong. It's so strong when I have it open right now. Um, it didn't quite grab all the wax on even two burns. I will put the tunnel on just to get it all caught up, but I always wait on that to um, do the review just so you can see how mine performed in like with no help whatsoever from me. This is very much mahogany teak wood to me. Um, I think that's been said before. I think it is pretty close without all the scary clary stuff and the moonlit and the vanishing. Um, I think these are the same scent notes. I don't have one right now. I feel like a single wick doesn't have the notes, but it's a very delicious, clean, like men's soap scent. Um, not necessarily Halloween vibes for me, but not bad. And I really, really am enjoying this. I think it just depends on what time of year. It's cooling down. So this strong powerhouse candle, and I will get into all of that with the burn, um, it's really nice for it to be strong. Now, I do remember, I was talking about like a wall plug I had used in the summer, and with the humidity and the heat, I did not want that strong of a scent. So I think for me, mahogany teak wood is something I enjoy, but it has to be in the colder months. I think there are people that love it year round, but for me, it's just too much in the heat, the hot, the humid but beautiful when it's cooling down. I need a sweater now. I mean, I'm still getting like crazy hair because there's still a bit of humidity, but it's definitely still has a nice breeze and a wind. So this one I'm really enjoying. I didn't switch sides. I think I just found my perfect time of year to burn mahogany teak wood or haunted nights. So let's show you a picture of the burn. Again, it wasn't aggressive. It was kind of a lighter um, performer in terms of how it lit, how it stayed lit. It did burn um, clean, meaning no sooting, but I do have to get a tunnel going to catch up the edges. And I think it's just because the wicks are so thin on some of these lately. And it's been fall candles. It's been like, for example, I just have this sitting here. So let's show you. In this summer, <laughs> all my wicks look like this. They're nice and thick. And then they're all the fall ones are looking so thin and I get I know those have been burnt but they looked that thin before so this is not a comparison candle but it was just one sitting here that I saw the wicks and I was like yeah those are the kind of wicks I'm talking about that really help a candle stay cleanly burning and pooling so a little trouble on the pool but no big deal I will use the tunnel and get it caught up the scent is a powerhouse there's no one that could deny it you will smell this in your clothes i smell it in my hair i can smell it in the garage when i go out so we keep like our beverages and stuff out in the garage so you have to go outside i usually shut the door because of like flies and stuff when i come back to the door and open it i'm like boom and i was sitting in this scent for hours but when you leave it and come back it is so strong so yes i recommend it if you can handle a powerhouse candle if you like the smell of like a very clean men's slope slope soap um do i feel like it's a halloween scent no not so much 
but it's definitely the packaging gets me in the Halloween mood and vibes. So um, you don't have to have this one. You could wait and just try Mahogany Teakwood. Um, but if you are looking for a Halloween candle and you haven't tried this one yet, those are my notes for you. I do think I'm going to try to pick up a Mahogany Teakwood now in a candle and just kind of remind myself I like it now, like November, December, January, February, I'm going to have some cold weather and I'm going to like this scent a lot. And then just make sure I don't try to bring it out once it gets humid here in Kentucky. The only other thing I wanted to share was I was going through my collection because I try to add that as well. Like, obviously we know that Haunted Nights is already a repackage of Mahogany Teakwood, but are there any other scents that you might already have that will give you the same vibe? And I do definitely get the same vibe from Mahogany Apple. Um, even on cold, it's Red Mahogany Woods, Golden Delicious Apple, Pink Peppercorn, Fresh Lavender Sprigs. So this really, to me, also smells like men's cologne with that hint of apple. And I think the pink peppercorn just gives it a little bit of a, it's not spicy, but a little bit of like something to it. You know, it's not, there's no basic scent in here. But yeah, this one also is a little bit lighter, a little bit. It's still in the powerhouse family, but it doesn't knock me out. So that's another thing that I wanted to add. Um, the apple is kind of one of those things I've seen in some men's cologne too. So it's just that crisp, like more of a green apple. This is gold and delicious, but not like a sweet apple. It's definitely just that basic apple kind of contributes to the clean note. So those are also my thoughts, but overall, I really am enjoying this candle. I don't burn it with anything else. It's kind of like pumpkin carving. They're strong, they stand alone. So um, if I showed you my decor video, you probably saw like candles everywhere. I do use these as decor. I only burn them one at a time. This is definitely a candle I can burn one at a time because it's gonna overpower anything I would burn with it. So it'd be kind of a waste of a candle in my opinion, but that's it. That's all. I really appreciate y'all for watching and I will see you in a video tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.